What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev2323. Today somebody was actually working on a project and I always say I'm the jack of all trades, master of none. So I have a lot of tools, a lot of tools and sometimes I buy different tools to see which one works best for me. And at one time I was working with stripped nuts, stripped lug nuts. So there were different things I used. Now of course this is, if you don't know what this is, this is a gator grip. This is from one quarter inch to three quarter inches and see each one of these go in. It's like when them little kids things without nails and you push on them and the image comes out. Alright I'm editing the video right now and I just see that it didn't get this. This is the inside of the gator grip right here. And when you push in it could twist. Let me get this way. It twists. It captures on whatever you put in whatever size bolt it goes on there. It could twist it. That's the gator grip right there. Well, that's exactly what this is. So I'll show you how this is going to work. This is the main thing. But these were super sockets that I came across. But I really think they were gonna, didn't think they were as good as the other stuff that I'm going to show you. The other thing I'm going to show you. Now these super sockets, you see what they do is they go on top. They grip whatever you're going to grip. But when you start to turn it, all the sockets on the inside turn. They turn. And they all get tighter around whatever it is. When you're trying to tighten it, see that each one of these little pegs, when the whole thing spins, they tighten down than whatever it is. The flaw in these, I believe, is what's holding the pins in there is plastic. That's plastic. So one thing that I say, if you have a nut that's almost stripped and not all the way stripped before you screw around with it, you get a big impact gun because if it's if it's giving you a hard time that you can't get it off with that impact gun it'll make it believe me an impact gun will make it so much more easier to get off and if you can't with an impact gun try with a big also what you could use is uh heat uh map gas well i use map gas one time actually when my boy let me use some acetylene and i actually got broke a bolt from a brake caliper and man, I was heating it with gas, heating it with gas, it would not fall out. Boy, I put that acetylene torch right on there, psh, the peg fell out. But heat actually helps get it. WD-40, rust bus or whatever, that helps it get the nuts loose also. Big torque wrench, a big torque tension bar, a big tension bar to get it off. Now these are pretty kick-ass. These right here, if you had a strip lug nut, you put this and a breaker bar or this and the impact gun a lot of people say well you got to hit on the smaller size socket well let me show you what these are if you haven't seen these they're specialty i don't even know if they made them i had them for years they're different sizes and it's like a regular socket for the car you could use either side or different sizes one standard or one metric and look on the inside of there they're treaded on the inside so they're not like a standard socket and these are reverse threaded. There's reverse threading on this. So when you're trying to get off whatever it is, it's actually tightening this on. So when you're trying to reverse it off, the threading on this is biting down and making it tighter. So these are pretty dang cool. Well, this is the opposite way right here. No, the right way. If you're trying to get it off in reverse, reverse, as when you're pushing on with the impact gun, to get it off as you're pushing down with the this right here is getting tighter and tighter on the bolt so you could even stop with the impact gun take it out and then you could put in the uh, a tension bar torque bar to try to get these out these are pretty awesome but today we're talking about the gator grip because on this gator grip my table's a mess i shot a video on compressors today but all these go in so when you try to push down on something it goes in and it takes the form of whatever it is. See, th there's up to three quarter inch. You just push in and whatever it is goes in. Now, this is the one that says it can even do these like this. And what happens is just those go in and it can spin it. So that is pretty cool, but these are metal. So what actually I did to try to see if it'll scratch is these are the nylon mechanics gloves. And if you tape a nylon mechanic glove on there, it doesn't actually touch the metal. So that's pretty cool. Now let me show you this. Now you could use one of these on there, just a regular ratchet. I said ratchet, not a bad word. 
Okay, but I wanted to show you with this gator grip since this was the video was going to be about is the gator grip. It actually loose loosening stuff I should put it, but I wouldn't know loosen what. I got a 1910 bungalow and I have these all over the basement. Let me put my light up now. These hooks all over the basement. See there. There. So what I wanted to show you is with this gator grip in reverse. I have the gator grip on here. There's that right there. I tried to get light without a shadow. If I put this on here and put it in reverse. Oh, that's forward. Look how fast that came off. Off and on. Just that fast. With this gator grip. So I have another one over here. I use it without that. See? This is the gator grip. And make sure it's in reverse. Just scratching the crap out of it because I'm using one hand. So that scratched the crap out of that one. But I was using it with one hand. Got dust in my eyes also on that one. So if I want to get all those out, which they're all over the basement, I can. But one other thing I wanted to show you was you can actually put them in with it also. Drive them in if you need to drive it in. I got some just non... Uh, what are you called? non barren walls here. I put it myself. So I wanted to try to get you in the video here it starts to lose its uh you go too fast with this how cool was that So this gator grip thing, there is something to this gator grip. Now I have not used it with my impact gun because I have not needed to use it with my impact gun. But to remove some bolts or something, I always say have extra stuff on hand. And this is just in my arsenal of stuff that I have on hand to remove broken, rusty, or different shaped nuts. So this is just stuff you should have in your arsenal. Either way, thanks for watching.